Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to knit these very easy slippers. And they're easy enough for beginners. And you can wear them with the cuffs rolled down like this. Or up tall like this. Let's get started. These slippers are going to be knitted in two parts. You'll do the bottom section and then you'll do the cuff section separately. And then you will sew the cuff down to the bottom section of the slipper. So to make the foot section of these slippers, I'm going to start at the heel. I'm going to knit all the way down. So I'm going to start here. And you can work with either one strand of a softer chunky yarn or two strands of worsted weight yarn. And I'm working with seven millimeter knitting needles. So cast on the number of stitches you need according to the following chart. Okay, after you have your designated number of stitches cast on, you're going to work in stockinette stitch, which is knit one row, purl one row. And I'm going to start with a purl row because I used the long tail cast on, and that kind of does one row of knitting. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to purl across the row. So purl all the way across the row. Okay, purl across the row. Okay, I purled across the row. Now you're going to turn, and we're going to knit across the next row. And this is what you're going to do for the entire foot. You're going to knit one row, purl one row. So this is the knit row. So knit all the way across the row. And you can see how quickly this works up. So purl across the next row. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work the foot for the length that I need. Okay, you're just going to keep working like that in stockinette stitch, knit one row, purl one row, until the slipper is the length that you need it to be. So this is the heel end, so you just keep working until the work is long enough for the foot. And then we're going to decrease for the toe end. And to do that, you're going to knit two stitches together across the row. Knit two stitches together across the row. Like that, all the way across the row. Okay, like that, you'll have reduced one half the amount of stitches. Thread the yarn end into a needle and then pass the stitches from the knitting needle onto the darning needle. Like that. And then you pull that tightly. And then with the same yarn, you're going to sew across the top of the foot, right across the top like that. And then you'll sew the heel end closed as well. And this is what the foot section will look like when it's finished. You can use that as a slipper all on its own. Now I'll show you how to make this top section. And one little tip I will give you is if you start the top section in the same color yarn, you will be able to camouflage your stitches a lot more easily when you sew the cuff to the bottom of the slipper. So cast on the number of stitches you need according to the following chart.
and in this cup I cast on in black because I'm attaching it to a black bottom. So now you're going to work in ribbing of knit two, one, two, purl two. Knit two and purl two. And you're going to do that all the way across the row. Like this. You're going to knit two, purl two until your cuff is as long as you would like it. If you just want a short cuff, you could just stop whenever. If you want to have a cuff that rolls down, then you'll make it taller. So you work the cuff and then you're going to fold it and sew it into a tube. And I'll use these black sections to join the black up both here at the top and here at the bottom. And I have threaded my blue section into a yarn needle. And I'm just going to bring these two ends together like this. And I'm going to come directly across. And then I'll go directly across again. And I'll do that all the way down. So come directly across into that stitch. And then go on the other side and go through that stitch. I'm going to do that all the way down. So just find the next stitch. And then on this side, find the next stitch. So sew all the way down. Okay, I connected my back seam. I connected the black sections. And this is going to fit on the slipper like this. So I'll use that as my back seam. And this is the bottom, and it has been sewn up the top of the foot. And when you're sewing the top of the slipper up, sew approximately halfway. So if you fold it over like this, it's about halfway. So sew to that halfway mark. So you're just going to go ahead and attach that to the bottom of your slipper. Bring these two together, and you're going to sew all the way around and connect this. And that's it. That's how easy it is to knit these slippers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.